And hey, welcome back everybody from Tatsuno to Tanabe, Krim and Duquette, more recently a guy named Wong. There's been a lot of great names associated with UH baseball, but there's only been one constant name associated with the program for the last 40 years, Don Robbs. And this year he's rounding third and heading for home in what will be the final year of an incredible run. What better place to start than at the beginning? When I arrived here in Honolulu as a freshman, Don was just a few years into what would become an incredible journey. 40 years? Yeah. Could you have ever imagined 40 years doing rainbow baseball? No, no way. When, uh, when I first went to Bob Berger and won the radio station before the 77 regional and, and proposed that we do that regional, the idea was we would just do whatever number of games the rainbows would be in, and that would be it. You know, we didn't even talk about the following year. Uh, and then they went to and out. And I thought, I'm not going to have a very good argument to go back next year and say, let's do it again. But I did and uh, talked him into it. And so we did. As it turned out, it would be one of the best decisions the radio station would ever make. The 79 season was good, but the following year, that would be one for the history books. I can't talk to you or anybody from that 1980 team without the memories just blowing up in my face. Yeah, getting the chicken skin uh, right you know, Austin and tornado warnings and, uh, and the magic of that week. You have to have been there. It's too bad that 36 years have gone by and we haven't been back. Clemens came off the bag to scoop it up. Had the ball come up off his chest. Carried up. Didn't get it back as into Omaha, Nebraska, still home of the College World Series. And you guys just played beautifully. You had to win one to be national champions and- uh, You lost two. And you went, you went down twice, that's the way it goes. So we, we, we ran out of rice, we ran out of cash. <laughs> yeah. We ran out of everything. We were on the road for a month. We ran out of, out of bats too, yeah, right? You know, but that's still, it's kind of like a fabulous five basketball team. The 1980 baseball team has a very special place on the shelf. There have been some really good teams over the years, but that's special. Better and better. With so many games called and so many players watched over the years, Rob says it's nearly impossible to put his finger on the greatest memories, but he does admit there are two players that stand out among the rest. Derek Tatsuno becoming the first 20 game winner in the history of college baseball in 1979. You were on that team and you went to Tucson Regional that year, so that and then I go fast forward all the way to almost the present, just a few years ago, and Colton Wong. The same Colton Wong who recently signed a $25 million contract with the St. Louis Cardinals. For Rob's, of course, it was never about the money. It was simply about sharing his million dollar voice and his great love for the game. And now, in his 40th and final year, he's finally allowing it to sink in. And he's come up with the perfect metaphor to sum it all up. Rounding third and heading home feature coming up in the fifth inning, and we're going to pay a little. I'm rounding third and heading late. home, Great and uh, and next year I'll be sitting just a few rows down with a cold beverage and and a an Eisenberg hot dog and enjoy the game. <laughs> and when he does join the fans in the stands, he'll be surrounded by many friends to be sure, many of whom he may not know, but have grown very close to him over the years. Sam, you and Eleanor here have been coming to these games in these two seats since this stadium opened. Yes, we started when the stadium opened. Uh, we were following Les Murakami and the Wolves. How many games, how many hours do you imagine you've listened in to Don Robs in your ear? <laughs> every, every game I've got my headset on. That's all. Many. <laughs> Really an institution. He gives the game a little color. And uh, we've enjoyed listening to him. 2-1 pitch. Strike called and it's two balls and two strikes now on Matt Lococo. The Mountaineers have 28. But for now it's simply a time to enjoy and to reflect as he prepares to say aloha along with another one of the great voices in sports history. I think the person I look to and have looked up to 
and feel that he is the best baseball broadcaster ever, Vin Scully, and Scully is hanging out this year too. He's been doing it for 56 years or something like that. Uh, he's remarkable. Lesmer Commie Stadium, pitch on the way, ground ball to the hole, it's short. That's going to bring in a run, the throw back to first base, not in time for the double play. The thing about baseball is that it's very demanding, and when I retired from my first job at, at public television uh, 16 years ago, I thought maybe it's time to give up baseball too, but the people said, don't, don't do that, you'll get older in a hurry. So I ended up at the, you know, the sports station, ESPN 1420, and I kept doing it and kept doing it, and I kept threatening every year that that was going to be the last year. And then I thought, what will I do if I don't have a ballpark to go to uh, between February and, and June? So here I am, and now the reality is beginning to set in. As for that final broadcast, now just a couple of months away, Rob says he hasn't really thought about it, and unselfishly says, the final game will not and should not be about him. The final game here will be against Arizona, ironically, um, and it's senior night. So that night belongs to the players. And well, you're a senior. <laughs> yeah, I am a senior. I'm, I'm a lot more senior than they are. Uh, the station has mentioned wanting to do something, and I said, just don't try and do it on that final game. Let's not take the light away from the players themselves. That's what it's about. I know that at the Circle of Honor induction last week, uh, when the crowd reacted the way they did, I was more emotional than I thought I would ever be. That was, that was real chicken skin time for me. It was a great moment. A great moment to cap off a brilliant career, one he never expected, but thoroughly enjoyed. How do you sum up 40 years of rainbow baseball? It's been a great ride. Um, we've won more than we've lost. We've gone to 13 regionals in the time we've been here. I've watched five no-hitters, a perfect game by Paul Brown. Uh, I've watched guys like you go through here and become successful in the community. Um, you know, and many are, are good friends like you to this, t to this age. I got more out of baseball than I put into it, I'll guarantee you that. And back to those fans, those who've listened to thousands and thousands of hours of his voice in their headsets over the years, he says thank you, and to some he says, good night. Well, there's one couple that's been sitting down here since their son played for the Rainbows 20 or more years ago. They religiously come to almost every game, and by the third inning of every game, Dick Garnett is sound asleep. <laughs> well done. <Yeah. laughs> I've done my job. <laughs> It's been a heck of a run for Don, and I look forward to hanging out with you, buddy, and enjoying a cold beverage in the stands come next season. 